going to show you today a new set from our Sunflare collection. And this is the final result of how it will look. And here is the beginning. So it's very quick and easy to create this look. I am going to quickly just delete the um, results that I've done already and show you how fast it is to run them. In our set, we have an action called Antique Lace that is going to be used. And I've added this because I feel like it goes really well with any sun flare. Um, it just kind of gives it the nice warm look that you need. I'm going to go in and turn up the Antique Lace a bit though. I do like just a little bit more for the sun flares to give it a creamier tone. Um, I am going to turn down the brightness of this. It is already a bright enough um, photograph. I'm just watching her skin to make sure. I'm going to turn down the pop of light just a little bit. And I feel great about that. So we're all set to add the flare onto it. The flare is very quick and simple to do. I'm just clicking on my background layer. I'm going to go to File and to Place. And I'm going to place the image in my Sun Flare collection, you will have multiple uh, different types of Sun Flares to choose from when you purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one for this that is called, um, let's see, they all provide pretty amazing looks. We want to find one that continues the glare with a little bit of glow. So we're going to do the Sun Glow with Ribbons in place. Once you have collected that, it's going to drop into the middle of your screen. It's going to look small, and that is just uh, how it happens when you place it, but it's actually a very large file. We definitely want it large, so we're going to hold down our Shift key and drag it all the way over. The great thing about this, it, these sun flares is they do not have to fit your entire photograph. Once you change this to screen mode, you will not see the edging of it. That's also really great because you can move this flare anywhere you want on your photograph. So we're going to make it very large because I do want it to hang over a bit. Once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and hit the check mark. It's going to take our selection. And now you need to go up to, to the layer mode and change it to screen. And sometimes these will show a little bit of an edge. All you simply have to do to blend it is click on your layer mask. It will be on the white layer mask. Please make sure that you're working on the white layer mask. You get a paintbrush that is black. I have a very large paintbrush and that is because I slowly want it to just lightly take away the edging of that line. And that's it, I'm all set. So here, it, I, and then also before I finish, just so that you understand, you can then change this to any kind of um, placement. You could move this over anywhere you want it and just blend away the edging. You can also flip it to make it on a different side. So if you did not want the sun coming from left to right, you could go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal, and now it can come from the other direction. So you have full range of where to do this. I'm going to go ahead and undo that and then show you one other thing you can do. If you'd like to rotate it a little bit, if you don't like the angle that it's going on, all you need to do is go to Transform, Rotate, and then you just rotate slightly to make it exactly where you want and then drag it back up to the placement. If you did want it down a little bit farther and you wanted to get rid of this box around it, again you just click on the layer mask, get a black paintbrush and lightly start blending this into your own photograph. So the capability for this sun flare can be anywhere you want on your photo. Remember you must use a layer mask and you'll be all set. Thank you very much.